Imagine this. You open an email from an unknown sender and within seconds, your computer screen freezes. Files vanish, passwords are stolen, and your system is completely taken over. This is the terrifying reality of computer viruses. Over the years, some of these malicious programs have caused billions in damages, crippling businesses, governments, and even personal computers. Today, we're diving into the 10 most destructive computer viruses in history, ones that changed the digital world forever. My Doom. In the year 2004, the My Doom virus unleashed chaos across the digital world, causing an estimated $38 billion in damages, adjusted to $52 billion today. As one of the fastest spreading email worms, My Doom accounted for 25% of all emails sent at its peak. Its rapid infection rate crippled entire networks within hours, making it one of the most devastating cyber attacks in history. Once inside a system, it scraped email addresses and replicated itself, sending mass spam messages. But that wasn't all. My Doom also turned infected computers into botnets, launching denial of service attacks that crashed major websites and businesses. Companies, banks, and even government agencies struggled to contain the damage losing millions in downtime and security fixes. The financial and operational damages were catastrophic, with companies scrambling to regain control. Shockingly, despite its impact, the creator of My Doom was never caught. Even today, traces of My Doom appear in phishing emails, proving its long-lasting legacy in cybercrime. And just when companies thought they had seen the worst, Another virus, so big, emerged, proving that email-based attacks were far from over. So big, the so big virus, first detected in 2003, left behind $30 billion in damages, marking it as one of the most financially devastating malware outbreaks ever recorded. Unlike my doom, so big came in multiple variants, with so big F being the most destructive. This variant spread at an alarming rate infecting thousands of computers every hour across the globe. It disguised itself as legitimate email attachments, tricking users into downloading it. Once activated, the virus turned computers into spam relays, flooding inboxes worldwide. Major corporations, including Air Canada, were forced to shut down systems, and network traffic slowed significantly. The virus even exploited vulnerabilities in Windows systems, causing widespread disruptions beyond just email spam. The virus spread so rapidly that it became one of the fastest growing email worms in history. Although the attack was eventually neutralized, the creator of Sobig was never found. The outbreak highlighted a critical flaw in email security, forcing businesses to implement stricter security protocols. But cyber criminals didn't stop there. Clairs took things a step further by evolving into one of the most adaptable and dangerous viruses ever created. Clairs Clairs wasn't just another email virus. It was a polymorphic worm, meaning it could change its code to evade detection by antivirus programs. Discovered in 2001, it infected an estimated 7 million computers, causing $20 billion in damages. This made it one of the costliest viruses of its time with businesses and individuals alike struggling to remove it. This virus didn't just spread through email attachments. It exploited vulnerabilities in Microsoft Outlook and Internet Explorer, allowing it to execute itself without the user even clicking on it. It was among the first viruses to send fake emails using stolen identities, making it almost impossible to trace. To make matters worse, Clairs had multiple variants, some designed to disable other viruses, steal personal data, and even delete files at random. The ability to mutate made Clairs incredibly difficult to remove, as every new version was more destructive than the last. Even major security firms struggled to keep up with its rapid changes, leading to a surge in antivirus updates worldwide. It forced businesses and individuals to rethink how they approached email security and software updates. But if Clairs tricked people through emails, the next virus on our list took deception to a whole new level, disguising itself as a heartfelt love letter. I love you. In May 2000, millions of users received an email with the subject line, I love you. A simple yet effective trick that fooled even the most cautious individuals. The attachment inside, disguised as a love letter, was actually a malicious script that spread rapidly, 
infecting over 10 million computers within days. People clicked on it out of curiosity or affection, unknowingly unleashing a cyber catastrophe. Once executed, I Love You overwrote files, including important system documents, images, and media files, causing $15 billion in damages. Entire government agencies, major corporations, and even military networks fell victim to the attack, forcing emergency shutdowns. The virus spread so aggressively that companies, including major banks and government agencies, had to shut down email servers to stop the attack. Created by a college student in the Philippines, I Love You was one of the first social engineering-based cyber attacks, proving that human curiosity was a bigger weakness than software vulnerabilities. The attack was so devastating that it led to the creation of stricter cybersecurity laws, including the Philippines' first cybercrime law. And just when security experts thought they had built stronger defenses, a new type of attack emerged. One that didn't just spread, but also held data hostage for ransom. Wanna cry? In 2017, the world witnessed one of the most devastating ransomware attacks ever, WannaCry. Unlike traditional viruses, WannaCry didn't just infect systems. It encrypted files and demanded Bitcoin payments in exchange for unlocking them. The attack spread across 200,000 computers in 150 countries, targeting businesses, hospitals, and government agencies, causing an estimated $4 billion in damages. Even major companies like FedEx and Telefonica fell victim, facing millions in losses. It exploited a Windows vulnerability, which Microsoft had already patched, but thousands of systems had failed to update. The attack crippled the United Kingdom's National Health Service, forcing hospitals to cancel surgeries and turn away patients. Medical staff had to revert to pen and paper, while ambulances were redirected due to system failures. Luckily, a 22-year-old cybersecurity researcher accidentally found a kill switch that stopped the virus, but the event served as a harsh lesson on the dangers of outdated software. While WannaCry paralyzed industries with ransomware, another virus had already made its mark years before, silently stealing financial data and draining bank accounts. Zeus. The Zeus Trojan first surfaced in 2007, quickly becoming one of the most notorious financial malware programs in history. Unlike viruses that simply spread, Zeus was designed for theft, specifically targeting banking credentials. Once inside a computer, Zeus logged keystrokes, stole passwords, and gained access to sensitive financial data. It infected computers through phishing emails and fake websites, tricking victims into entering their sensitive information. The virus was so widespread that it breached 88% of Fortune 500 companies, making it one of the most profitable cyber attacks of all time. In some cases, hackers even used Zeus to take full control of infected computers, allowing them to manipulate transactions in real time. Cyber criminals used Zeus to steal millions of dollars, funneling funds from unsuspecting victims directly into offshore accounts. What made Zeus even more dangerous was its ability to stay undetected for long periods, evolving into newer forms of financial malware that are still active today. While Zeus operated in the shadows, the next virus on our list was far more aggressive, hijacking websites and even attacking the White House. Code Red. In 2001, a new type of malware emerged, Code Red, a worm that specifically targeted Microsoft's internet information server. Unlike email viruses, Code Red attacked web servers directly, infecting an estimated 975,000 hosts. Within hours, it had compromised government agencies, businesses, and even major news websites. Once inside a system, it defaced websites, replacing pages with the chilling message, hacked by Chinese. But the most shocking part of the attack? It launched a denial of service attack on the White House's website, forcing officials to change its IP address to avoid being taken offline. Security teams scrambled to counter the attack, fearing a major breach in national security. The total damage caused by Code Red was estimated at $2.4 billion, making it one of the most destructive website targeting worms in history. The speed and scale of the attack forced businesses and governments to rethink cybersecurity for web servers, setting the stage for modern web security protocols. Code Red's web-based destruction was alarming,
But the next virus proved that malware could spread even faster, taking down critical systems worldwide in mere minutes. Slammer discovered in 2003, the Slammer worm became infamous for its unprecedented speed. Unlike traditional malware that required user interaction, Slammer spread automatically, infecting half of the world's internet servers in just 10 minutes. Banks, airlines and police emergency systems all experienced the outages, causing massive disruptions worldwide. The rapid fire infection crashed automated telemachines, airlines and emergency response services, causing widespread chaos. With over 200,000 machines compromised, the estimated financial damage reached $1.2 billion. Even the US Defense Department saw some of its networks affected, raising concerns about national cybersecurity defenses. Cybersecurity experts were stunned by how quickly Slammer overwhelmed networks, forcing a shift in how viruses were detected and contained. While it eventually faded, the attack highlighted the dangers of unpatched software vulnerabilities, a lesson that still applies today. Slammer's speed was terrifying, but the next virus proved that money, not just destruction, was the real goal of modern cyber criminals. Crypto Locker. In 2013, the rise of ransomware took a dark turn with the emergence of Crypto Locker. Unlike other viruses, CryptoLocker did not just steal data, it locked it away forever. This was one of the first major ransomware attacks to use military-grade encryption, making it nearly impossible to crack without the decryption key. Once inside a system, it encrypted files and demanded payment in Bitcoin in exchange for the decryption key. Victims were left with two choices, pay up or lose their files forever. Many businesses and individuals had no choice but to comply, fearing the loss of irreplaceable data. The virus infected over 250,000 machines, primarily through botnets that spread the malware across networks. By the time cybersecurity experts managed to shut down CryptoLocker's operations, the virus had already extorted $665 million from desperate victims. Even after it was neutralized, CryptoLocker inspired countless copycat attacks fueling the modern ransomware industry. The success of CryptoLocker set the stage for future ransomware attacks, proving that holding data hostage was an incredibly profitable strategy for cyber criminals. CryptoLocker changed the game for cybercrime, but the next virus was so disruptive that even airlines and hospitals were forced to shut down. Sasa. In 2004, a 17-year-old German hacker created one of the most disruptive computer worms of all time. Sasa. Unlike email-based viruses, Sasa spread through a Windows vulnerability that allowed it to infect computers without any user interaction. It exploited a flaw in Windows XP and Windows 2000, causing infected computers to slow down, crash, and endlessly reboot. The worm crashed millions of PCs worldwide, forcing major corporations, airlines, and even hospitals to shut down systems. Delta Airlines had to cancel multiple transatlantic flights, while hospitals in Sweden lost access to critical patient records. The total estimated damage was $500 million, making it one of the most costly cyber attacks of its time. The hacker behind Sasa was eventually caught after a bounty was placed on his arrest, but by then, the virus had already left a trail of destruction. Microsoft quickly patched the vulnerability but the attack exposed just how unprepared the world was for self-spreading malware. Sasa highlighted the need for stronger operating system security and prompted Microsoft to revamp its approach to software vulnerabilities. From self-replicating worms to billion-dollar ransomware attacks, these viruses have shaped the digital battlefield. Cyber criminals never stop evolving, finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities. The best defense? Stay updated, use strong passwords, back up data, and think before you click. Will the next virus be even more destructive? Which one from this list shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.